I think it's very important for both us and mine, but more generally for the communities, the wide communities of our 72 clubs. Um, we take a lot of care in choosing our charity partner, and with mind, it's entirely apt at the moment with the problems that are going on with health, with one in four uh, people having problems of mental health, uh, with widely publicised problems with players and managers of the pressure that's involved, 6,000 male suicides, uh, antidepressants given out in the millions. You can see that there is a fundamental problem. And we as football, and particularly with our EFL Trust, which has got such a wide reach into the community, we feel that we can do something of major significance working with such a charity as Mind to actually, over the next two years, make a big, big difference to mental health. I think uh, the players and the managers are only a part of it, though. That's the public part that people will see. And of course, they as ambassadors, when you get players particularly famous players who have significant problems with mental health and are prepared to come out and say that, then the impact that it has on the wider community. And each of our 72 football clubs and its trust deals with a massive amount of people within the community. And that's really where the focus is going. It's not going on to just the players and the managers. It's going on to the wider community that we we are unique in that respect with our 72 clubs all across the UK that we can actually have a very wide reach to help with mental health and the problems it brings.